the former national president, youth wing of the Christian Association of Nigeria, and co-chairman of the Interfaith Coalition Conference, Dane Kadzai, has slammed religious leaders, especially those on the Christian side, for turning their pulpits into campaign podiums ahead of the 2023 general elections. He warned that it was very wrong for the leaders to publicly declare their support for a candidate, insisting that these antics may backfire on the Christians if the candidate they are projecting fails. Kazai, who spoke to Daily Post on New Year's Eve, also used the opportunity to hit out at the President, President Mohamed Buhari administration, saying that despite the high price of rice and other food items, Nigerians were still able to celebrate their festive season. According to him, Nigerians should be hopeful that 2023 will bring them the best in terms of good leadership. He insists that there have been bad leaders on both the Christians and Muslim sides, telling church leaders to slow down in pushing a candidate. These religious leaders, especially the church, must stop deceiving their members. If, they, if what they are proposing fails, it will backfire on the members, so it is better they just stay neutral, especially since the pulpit should be used for the purpose of salvation where they preach love, peace, and unity. It should not be a jamboree of policies or political gathering, he said. Despite the challenges facing the country, God has been faithful and everybody celebrated Christmas and New Year in peace. God put these wicked leaders in shame, and even though the price of rice is almost 50,000 naira now, Nigerians were able to buy it. No one said they did not have something to eat. The religious sentiments being played amongst, among us with some churches publicly declaring for one candidate, for instance, bringing Peter B to church and all that. What if he fails? What if he loses the election? Some come up with Tinumbu saying he is a Muslim Muslim ticket, but the same people kicking against Muslim Muslim tickets are still holding meetings with Tinumbu at Khan's headquarters. He noted that some of those who criticized Bola Tinumbu for his choice of Muslim Muslim tickets are the same people holding meetings with the All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidates at the National Secretariat of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan. The same people condemning him are at the same time holding meeting with him at the county secretariat what kind of integrity are we talking about let us forget the religious sentiment and go for a candidate that will salvage the situation of this country and deliver good governance to our people someone who can unite this country when you talk of bad leadership we have bad leadership among christians and muslims we have christians who were bad leaders in the country and we also have them among the muslims so when you are accusing someone just know that something happened earlier. If Christian votes alone could bring a president into power, Jonathan wouldn't have lost the 2015 election because all that was needed to win the election was provided to them, but we lost out, he said. I, th I think uh, you don't even know what you're talking about because I don't understand when the old narrative is not changing. This is not the first time we see politicians go to churches. They will even give their microphone. But in this case of a uh, Peter B, he will just go there and I don't know why he's really hitting some people up. And so what? If somebody, is it a crime or is it a sin? Even in your own Bible that you are reading, is it a sin for, for, for a pastor or for somebody to say, this is the person I want? Over time, the so-called pastors have been blamed, whether you call them clerics or whatever, your clergymen, have been blamed that they have been silent. They don't say things. Things are going bad. You want them to keep quiet. I don't understand. When is it, where is it in the Bible? That if you support a candidate that you are a sinner, or if somebody goes to church, it's a this, it is sin. It is because we are in a lawless country. What what does it take? How does it affect? Why should it be a problem? Because if so, anybody who is saying I want to vote for the uh, vote for this person, I'm supporting this person. He said that way. He said that the person loses or he wins. So because of that, and that is the the spirit of worry. I'm able to say it. This man that is talking, the spirit of worry is in you. The same worry. When he was being, he was not voted in, voted for in some quarters, like the South is, he said those who gave him five percent, and that is why he has been doing a lot of things. Forget all this nonsense and rubbish. Here. Second Nigeria Bridge, they are, they are carrying, they are talking about. Even that Second Nigeria Bridge, are they not going to tow it? All of that uh, uh, infrastructure they claim they they built, are they tolling them? So everybody must know uh, your candidate doesn't mean that your candidate must win, and you stand by what you stand for. 
those who supported Buhari today, can they come out with good conscience and say, yes, we voted for this man and we are reaping and enjoying the dividends of democracy? Can you go, come out boldly? It is you that you are even talking about a right has become 50,000 naira. And that is the reason why these politicians don't even care. Because, no, you like it now because you say some people can afford it and shame on the politicians because they know that they will continue to push you to the wall and you will not go back. They will continue to push you to the back. This is exactly what the politicians want. And they will know that no matter how they push Nigerians, they will see fine way that last, last, everybody go there, all right. And that's why they will continue to do what they are doing. And they will tell you everything is fine. You want people to continue to keep quiet. And they are keeping quiet. Is it supposed to be like this? It's not supposed to be like this. So when you support a candidate, you say that the person wins or he loses. So because if the person loses, so does he mean the evil, evil will fall? Evil will not fall. Evil will never fall. So if they support to be, because we are in a lawless and a, 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 a lawless country, let me just put it. That is, if, if somebody does not vote for you, then you have to come and repay the person back, or you have to do what you have to you have to punish the person, just like a Buari is doing. You have, you have to punish the person. If they support to be and the OP does not win, ever will not fall. Those who did not, unfortunately, those who did not support Buari in 2015, they are everybody is everybody is suffering from the decisions that those who supported him made the decision they made so what are we talking about why should you be boboing or blackmailing anybody or be threatening people if obi goes to church people are even worried the so-called worry before now they have been going to church i know i don't know where it did not come to the time of obi things that they have been doing before now it has come to it has become a taboo i don't understand it has not become a taboo what are you what are you talking about if they support Obi and he does not win, so what? So what? So what? So because of that, somebody will not come and punish. And will come and punish those who did not support him. That is the policies of bitterness. I have said it over time. So for the fact that say, if Obi fails, if Obi does not win, so does it mean people will not pay their? They will not. They will not. They will not pay their taxes or what? Or is it not the people's money they are going to use? Or anybody that wins is the person going to be using his personal money to run the country? So you now say, oh, I'm, I'm the owner of this money. I can do it with whatever, with, uh, you know, whichever way I want it. It is not your money. These people will still continue to pay taxes for the fact that they did not vote for you or their candidate did not win. So what is the big deal about all of this nonsense rubbish? If a big goes to church, you just go to church and sit down. It has become a taboo. So what are you talking about? What is, what is wrong with you? Anybody who say he does not believe in will be fine. If you don't say he, does, he don't believe in uh, uh, Tinubu, good and fine. The majority at the end of the day, you know, we make the decision. Unfortunately, irrespective of the decision that, that we made at the end of the day, everybody, whether you supported or you did not support, you are going to be partakers of whatever that comes out of it, be it negative or positive. So guys, let us hear your opinion and have your take on this.